Guys, I'm afraid I have some unfortunate news to share. Recently, I made the decision to let my iPhone... My iPhone... Go. Now, it was a pretty easy decision. I needed a new phone, desperately. I'd had that phone for five years. It had served me well, but it was starting to have problems. That decision was easy. But the question I was then presented with, should I continue with iPhone or should I try something else? And finally, curiosity won over and I went with the Samsung A53. This is a quad camera phone that produces a 64 megapixel photo, utilizing four lenses to create a 26 millimeter wide f1.8 image. Now, before we get too excited about there being four cameras on the new phone, let's go ahead and check out the specs. <laughs> now, as I said several times now, this phone utilizes four separate cameras. An ultra wide camera, a main camera, a depth camera, as well as a macro camera. This phone also has an incredibly long two day battery. Of course, that depends on how much and how you use your phone, but the fact that it can extend to two days is pretty impressive. It's water resistant, has an AI image enhancer, plus it has the capabilities of adding up to one terabyte with a micro SD card. So there is room for everything you might want on this phone. I personally want to push past those specs because to be honest, I have never really been a specs guy. Instead, I'd like to focus a little bit more on how the photos from the Samsung A53 make me feel. And of course, there's a fairly easy way to do that. Let's just take this thing out and see what it's got. But first, I have to let out my dogs. As well, I made sure to assemble everything I needed, including my phone, some caffeine, and an apple. I'm just kidding. This isn't what I actually brought. This is what I actually brought. Now, we're not gonna be out here too long because the sun is going down and it's gonna be dark pretty soon. We're just gonna see if we can get a few nice sunset shots with this camera. So, crunchy. All right, so we're over here at a golf course right around the corner from the house. And I think this is where I wanna take the first picture. One of the things I'm gonna make sure I do is go to pro camera on this, on this phone that has a pro mode, which is pretty cool, which allows me a lot more control and it's a lot more similar to an actual camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and take two exposures uh, one exposure I'm gonna expose from my sky just because I'm really interested to see how much of the shadows can I save in Lightroom because I plan on taking all these photos through Lightroom uh, similarly to how I do it with my camera. So I'm gonna take an exposure at 500 of a second, bam. And then I'm also going to take one at 1 60th of a second. And this one is gonna allow me to see a lot more of this landscape. All right, now that we have those photos, I think I'm gonna move on and find a new spot. I'll try to do it quickly though, because we are really losing the sunlight. And I know this phone probably doesn't perform very well at night. It's another thing we're gonna test. So there's this really awesome castle a short walk away from where we were. And I think the last picture that I'm gonna try to take tonight, I'm gonna try to frame up the top of that castle between some trees and we're gonna see what this phone can do especially as the light is really fading quickly but first we're gonna eat these Reese's pieces you know what I'm saying it's melting in my pocket so I just want to get it done okay let's move this we've got a car in the parking lot I'm just gonna block it out with some branches because we don't want to take this sucker into Photoshop you know what I'm saying all right it's gonna take that shot we're at 1 20th of a second how's it look oh that looks good on this exposure, we're really exposing for the castle and the trees. It's at one tenth of a second. So I think we're gonna go and wrap right there for tonight because honestly, it's getting cold and I didn't dress for this. But what are you gonna do? Dress better, I guess. Time for the daily morning routine, starting with yoga. And I am not good after yoga. I'm gonna move on to my Duolingo French lessons. Je visite la France. I am visiting France. Non, 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 non. 
and bam, after breakfast and coffee, it's time to head out the door. So let's get moving. Uh, today, I think I'm just gonna move around the neighborhood because to be honest, I don't have a car. Tyler has the car all day, but I still wanna go out and take photos. So we are just gonna take a nice long walk around the neighborhood, see what we can find. And today I also wanted to bring out my Sony camera just to test these things side by side because I really wanna be able to see the difference between the camera that I love and what I am capturing on this Samsung A53. So I walked us over to a path that I stumbled upon the other day with Tolstoy on a long walk. Uh, we're currently behind the castle and we're just going to take some pictures because this is a nice little, nice little area. So we're just gonna walk around, take some pictures uh, with both the phone and the camera and see what we come up with. Currently I'm testing out the macro function on this camera. We're just gonna go ahead and give it a try, take a picture of these berries and see what we can come up with seems to be working pretty well. I'm like really close and this is in focus. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, but with the camera, let's see what we can get. Had to drop my shutter speed way down. Oh, that one's nice. All right, all right, so what's happening guys? Uh, I'm gonna run this section pretty loosey-goosey uh, just because I wanna honestly edit these uh, as we go and share my thoughts as a whole. So overall, I'm incredibly happy with the images that I'm getting out of this phone. I think, you know, there are some things that I guess I want phone companies to work on when it comes to cameras and, you know, who am I, who am I to say, you know, this isn't like 10 years down the line because it's incredibly different to do. Like I would love to, I would love for a lot of these images to not feel so tack sharp and digital. Like I would love for there to be more bokeh and, and depth of field and you know, and I'd also like for them to lean a little bit more to feeling natural, less digital. But overall, after I took these photos into Lightroom and played around with them, I was very happy with the resolution and I was very happy with how much room these JPEGs allow me creatively, you know, when I'm trying to manipulate the colors, if I'm, if I'm color shading, if I'm working with curves, I had a lot of room to play around with the edit on these images. So the files that I'm getting from this phone are great, especially when I want to, you know, kind of ma put masks all over the image and really create crazy colors. I think this phone does everything that you want it to, especially during the daytime. I found that most of the photos that I took during the daytime were very easy to edit. The only time it was difficult for me to pull an edit out of an image was when I was taking pictures in low light. You kind of you kind of got to know where your equipment thrives and, you know, put it in situations that it can do best. And I think this phone overall during the day does such a great, great job. So good that like I might even, if I'm going out for a day, just bring this thing because I was really happy with the images that I created. I'm gonna be sharing a lot more of those images on my, on my social, on my Instagram. And you can find my Instagram handle right here, or you could always go to the link in the description. I think I'm gonna create another video using this phone's camera um, and try to go out and instead of shooting landscape, maybe try and play around with street photography. I might try and play around with taking pictures of moon 
moving people and moving cars and see what we can do with this phone. Um, so I think I might do that next because I've had a lot of fun playing around with this. I really wanna know how far I can push this device. Like if I don't have my camera with me, I know it'll back me up, but so far I'm happy. And yeah, I hope this video helps you make a decision. Even if you're just like looking at the images and you're like, oh, those are nice. You know, maybe I can create what I want to as well on this phone. I think I'm just gonna say one last thing before I go. This is a budget phone. And for the price, I am incredibly happy with what I got. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, like always, I'll see you next time.